15, 20 years ago, students had left school at 18 and gone into work, and we wanted to know where those students were now going. So um, we embarked on, uh, on a mission to find out. So we went to a, a local school that we partnered with and uh, we put it to them, would this be a, a good idea? And, and they said, absolutely. It was an alternative and it was a choice. Accountancy has moved on. Computers have got rid of a lot of the drudge. And what we're looking at now is to try and understand what's behind the numbers rather than reporting the numbers. Um, we want to know where those numbers come from. We want to know how we can improve those numbers. We want to know how we can make processes go away. That's the role of the accountant today. Hi, my name's Faye and I'm a graduate apprentice at Procter & Gamble. I didn't want to go to university because I felt I wouldn't be challenged enough. When I found out about this scheme, I thought it was exactly what I wanted to do. So it was working full time, but doing some qualifications on, on top of that. Hi there, I'm Stephen Morgatroyd and I'm a graduate apprentice of Procter & Gamble. Family were very supportive. They came to one of the open evenings and, and listened to what the, what the offer was and they were very supportive. But the teachers, there was pressure to go to university from teachers. There was a lot of sessions set up where it was right. This is this time is for everyone to do their uni, uni applications, and so I'd, I'd made it clear I didn't want to go to university. And it was like, oh, well, we just sit over in the corner and like bounce this ball. This is not a fallback option. You really do have to be committed to doing this. The scheme now is very different to what it was when I joined because I was the first intake from schools. And um, so, like, I look at what the guys are doing now and how the structure has changed, the, the university degree and how the rules on site have developed as well and it's so much better now. I'm Rachel Proctor, I'm a second year undergraduate working at Proctor & Gamble. Initially it was the accountancy that caught my eye because it's something I never really considered but uh, maths was always something that I really enjoyed but then when you think about it by the end of it you're going to have your five years work experience, you're going to have earned a wage and it's a company that's got a great reputation. My name is David Pullen and I'm an undergraduate apprentice at Procter & Gamble. In sixth form when I was looking at going to university the courses I was looking at were where training was only for about eight to ten hours a week and I kind of said to myself in between lectures and seminars what am I going to be doing with myself? When you first start your first role is kept at around 60% of a, of a full-time role so that you have a chance to sort of settle into your role and just get settled into studying at the same time. A normal p employee would be given an assignment which lasts two to three years um, whereas being an apprentice we move role and change assignment every one year so we do get to see a lot more of the business. Through the studies that we've done through AAT and the studies that I'm now doing it gives you the business background and the accountancy kind of thing but there's also a lot of things that P&G do on top of that in terms of presentation skills and general coaching and guidance. There's so many diverse roles at p &G that you can do so many different things and it's not all number crunching, it's problem solving, teamwork, um, showing that you can lead a group. A lot of my friends who are going through university are accumulating their student debt and always complain about not having any money whereas I'm kind of in the opposite position where every month I get a salary and I'm the one saying oh, let's go and do this because I know at the end of it I'm not going to have that massive debt over my head. You're never going to have the kind of freshers week when you're working full time. It would be a massive struggle to be honest. Um, but there's a massive social side to work in a pain journey anyway, you know, there's, there's a lot of nights out and like there's football teams and there's a sports and social club and all of that. So the social side doesn't have to be dropped just because you're working. I currently play the drums in a band with a few of my friends. We recently got recognised by BBC Radio 1 as an introducing an up and coming band. Um, so much so that we got an invitation to play at Glastonbury alongside artists such as Ed Sheeran and we just really enjoy it. In my free time I tend to play a lot of um, balls at the minute. I play at national level, I've had England trials, um, I'm a qualified coach by the age of 14 and I was the youngest qualified umpire in the UK at the age of 16 as well. 
if you look at where I am at 25 versus like say other people who are still living at home and are struggling to get like a full-time job then there's a massive difference. Students now see this as no real different than to uh, when going to university they can get a degree but also by the time that they've, they've um, achieved that they're a qualified accountant and they've had five years uh, experience with Procter & Gamble and a long-term career hopefully with the company. I think it's great seeing that fresh talent come in every year and it's the one recruitment stream that is, it is protected across the whole of our organisation, you know, it's, it's, it's our blue ribbon recruitment programme, so it's, uh, we're very, very proud of it.